Okay, this one turned out awesome. So today we're actually gonna do some engraving. I've got some photo albums and also a few Bibles that I wanna add a little customized touch to. So basically in order to do this, we gotta go ahead and take the measurement of what we're trying to engrave on. Two, we put it into the software, that way we can actually design the engravings. And then lastly, we upload it to the computer, connect it to the laser, and go ahead and burn it on the objects. So let's go ahead and get started, and I'll fill in details as we go. All right, let's get to it. Okay, so the first thing I wanna do, I'm not doing any spine engraving, but these are the items I'm gonna engrave on first. So I'll start with the photo albums first, and then I'll come back and do the Bibles. All you need is your ruler, which I've got right here. So I've got my ruler right here, and we're gonna take the bounding measurements and then the engraving space. Now with the engraving area, I wanna come a little bit in, sort of like a margin in this darker air region. So I'll go in probably half an inch or less on each side, and that way I'm in the safe zone and it will always be in the center. Okay, so I'm gonna repeat this four more times off camera and then we'll come back with the measurements. Okay, now that I've got all my measurements, right here, it's time to go into Inkscape and go ahead and set up the template for each book. Let's get to it. Okay, so I've basically designed this template to scale. So if you ever wanted to engrave on this specific Bible, this file will be available for download on my website. Let's keep it going. Okay, now that the blueprints are done for the basic frame of what I'm engraving and then the safe area of what I'm engraving, I can now place that item directly into the spot it goes in and then I can go ahead and engrave on the item. So, I'm gonna go ahead and make the design now and then send it over to the laser. All right, let's get to it. Whew, that was a ton of work. Well, I got the designs done on the computer. Now let's head over to the laser to get these books engraved. Okay, so we got the files loaded up. With the laser, you wanna make sure that your exhaust is good to go. Also that you have a scrap material piece. So that way you can test out the area first, and then you can go ahead and lay the book down and start the engraving. So let's go ahead and get that done. I'm gonna get a piece of cardboard. We're gonna get started with the engraving. All right, guys, so my hose adapter for the laser that I designed in Blender is finished. So all I got to do is do a couple test fits to make sure that it fits and uh, get this thing ready for tomorrow's video. Just an update, it turned out to be an actual perfect fit. So the hose fits perfectly. This is a basic dryer um, fitting hose. And since I had a, a Chinese built laser, the hose adapter is actually as big as that big hole right there. So this is perfect. This will allow me to adapt a more common, smaller hose size to exhaust the smoke when I'm using the laser. So it turned out great. So this looks perfect. So now all I have to do is get the actual uh, item I'm trying to engrave and lay it in this template and then start engraving.
Okay, I love how the engraving turned out. I'm going to show some cleaning techniques. Now, up here, I had the rotary settings when you using um, engraving on cups and mugs. So, therefore, that's how the top messed up. But I'm going to go ahead and clean up the excess smoke markings and show what it looks like without the uh, dark dust in there. Okay, here it is cleaned up. Like I said, this part up here was because I initially had it on a rotary setting, which is the incorrect setting for a flat piece that you engrave. But really, this album was just a test run. It was an old album, and uh, I just want to give everything a test run first before I move on to the next items. So let's go ahead and get some new items on to the laser. Okay, this one turned out awesome. It's definitely got like an embossed type of look down here. So you can actually feel it deep engraved in there. And I really like how that one turned out. So we're going to put this one up. I'm not going to film the rest of the engravings. I just wanted you to see how exactly the engraving process works. And now we'll just do the final reveal of all the rest of the engravings. Let's do it. I think the engraving really turned out great. Here's the back with a full scripture of Matthew 17 and 20. Faith the size of a mustard seed can remove mountains. And on the front, you can actually see it says live by every word of God on the left. And a picture of the mountains on the front. I mean, it turned out very beautiful. Let me see if I can get a close up. Just beautiful. On the back. Awesome. With the smaller Bible, you can tell it has more of an embossed look because this is an actual leather. And let me see if I can get a close in. The koi fish, if I can get the details. Turned out awesome. You can actually see the scales and the koi fish. Very detailed. And the name. Alright, very beautiful. I thought this was pretty significant, pretty amazing how the engraving in this particular part turned out, especially the koi fish here. And I really think this is awesome. This adds a nice personal touch to the Bible. And this is something that'll be really nice to have as a momentum gift or just a custom uh, touch to your own items. I decided to keep it simple with the photo album. So basically, you can tell that it's really into the photo album here. Very nice and it will last forever. As long as this lasts, this uh, engraving will last on this photo album. Engraving the Bible was something special to me, uh, especially with certain scriptures that mean a lot to me, especially uh, Matthew 17 and 20, with faith the size of a mustard seed, you can move mountains, and just living by the tenets of this book. Um, the project was really fun to do, um, to add a custom flair or nice little touch to things like books, Bibles, photo albums, and things of that nature. I wouldn't have been able to do anything that I've done without the Lord's hand. And I really am thankful to the Father and also to you guys for checking out my channel. And I will always say, definitely, if you draw closer to God, He'll draw closer to you. 
If you would like to get this particular Bible with your own custom engraving, DM me at CLO Pixel on Instagram, or you can visit clolearnshop.com. There you will find this specific size, and you can get this as a gift, or if you want your own personal one, you can get your custom engraving. All you have to do is go to the link, fill out the form, and you'll be able to pick up your own. Well guys, thank you for tuning in. It's really been a pleasure. And remember, the Bible says that if you show faithfulness over a little, he will give you much. Guys, take care, have a blessed day, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace.